Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I am finally continuing Chloe Kardashian's house building series and I'm actually furnishing a few uh, rooms in this episode. So I'm furnishing the uh, like a formal living room. It's a beautiful gray living room. There's no television. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in real life. So I'm trying to recreate that today and I'm also furnishing the glam room that is also here on the first floor and I'm furnishing the home theater and the office so four rooms in total so I do think that we are making progress slowly but steadily I'm probably gonna have to crank up the <laughs> the speed a little bit faster I mean I know I'm throwing out episodes really slow and I need to go a bit faster so yeah I am aware that at this pace, this build is gonna take forever. <laughs> but I do have to say, I'm, I'm really struggling for this uh, celebrity build. This is one of my hardest ones till this point. I mean, I thought that Beyonce was hard. Um, this is harder. I mean, Beyonce had like 20,000 bedrooms that I need to furnish. But this room, this house is just so... How do you say it? It has a typical kind of style that I adore. It's like a very modern Moroccan kind of black and white vibe. I adore it. But it's so hard to make in The Sims 4. It, I'm definitely struggling with that. Also struggling with the floor plan because I, I've made a few mistakes in that already. And thank God I have you guys to correct me, to help me out. So thank you all for helping me. And if you still see any mistakes, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if it's a floor plan mistake or a furnishing mistake, let me know. Because I do take a lot of uh, free... Uh, how do you say it? <laughs> Creative... Freedom in this few uh, rooms I'm gonna furnish so there are definitely not exact copies I just try to keep it in the same kind of vibe as the rooms because the furnishing that Chloe has is so unique and beautiful I couldn't find anything that matches that and I didn't know how all the rooms looked in their complete form. I mean, I saw pictures, I saw some videos, but definitely not all angles and stuff like that. So they definitely look different than the real life ones. So this room here is a very beautiful gray kind of lounge room. It has like a beautiful curved uh, sofa and um, how do you call it? Like lots and lots of um, curtains hanging from the ceiling. I don't know if she still has that or maybe she only did that for the photo shoot because this was in Reader's Digest or Architectural Digest. One of those. <laughs> she did like a very famous photo shoot with her sister. And yeah, she had this room was covered in curtains and it was so beautiful and still so strange because I would have I would have loved the look of it but I would have hated to actually own a room like that because cleaning that would be such a nightmare all the dust that will be going into those curtains and it was curtains from wall to wall to wall so it's not like a beautiful long curtain on one wall where you have like the um the doors, I mean, I can understand that, but an entire room filled with curtains, it would drive me insane. And it would drive my husband insane because he has allergies and he actually can't stand any uh, dust and stuff like that. He would be sneezing the entire day. So yeah, that was definitely a little bit weird and I opted not to recreate it because it would have, would have looked awful just completely horrible here in The Sims 4. So we're keeping it simple with plain walls, but still trying to get that very gray kind of feeling going on in this room. So I hope that you guys like it. So I am gonna make this room one tile smaller. Oops, ow, I knocked, oh, that hurt it. I knocked my hand on my desk because usually when I talk to you guys, 
I use my hands and I know you guys don't see that, <laughs> but I still use my hands to point things out. Really weird. I should probably do like a face cam at one point and then you guys can see how awkwardly stupid I'm doing here <laughs> in front of my computer. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this room one tile smaller because now it's a little bit too large. I went into like my little overview that I do at every beginning of the video. I wanted to do a little overview of this room. So I was angling my camera and it just looked way too large at the right side of this room. So I make it one tile smaller and I make the hallway larger. So I do think that um, I made a mistake in the hallway, by the way, because when you look at the pictures, this room comes out into a uh, hallway with a staircase. So I do have the staircase, but when you look at that staircase, it is in a hall where there's like a outer door. So there's no outer door here in my in my hallway. So I know I made a mistake somewhere there with the little courtyard in the middle and then the placing of this hallway and this room probably made that area a little bit too large or downscaled the courtyard too much. I'm not sure, but yeah, I definitely made a mistake. Am I gonna fix it? Maybe. I mean, it's not bothering me that much that there is no outer door and that the outer door is a little bit more to the right than it needs to be. I mean, maybe, maybe in the end of the build, I'm like, mm, probably gonna change it. But for now, I actually like uh, the floor plan. I, I like how it flows and I'm happy with it. But if you guys have a suggestion how I can change it, let me know in the comment section. So you saw that that room, I don't know if you guys saw it, but you saw the outer door that goes into the courtyard that needs to move like three tiles. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's like the only problem that I have there. But other than that, I think it looks nice. So I still need to furnish, of course, all the hallways. I need to furnish that room next to the glam room that I'm building right now. So the reason why I'm not furnishing that room <laughs> is because I don't know if it's a bathroom or a tiny walk-in closet. I'm thinking it's a bathroom because it makes sense to have a bathroom in your uh, adjoint to your glam room. I mean, you need running water for your beauty blenders and stuff like that. So I'm thinking it's a bathroom, but then I also make a room next door to the bathroom and I actually don't know if that room is there in real life, but I was thinking, I wanted it to be like a little walk-in wardrobe. So let me know in the comment section below the video what you guys think of that. Uh, so maybe it's not there in real life, but I just found it a really nice idea. So maybe I'm gonna make a small walk-in wardrobe with like the necessities that she needs for uh, when she's doing uh, her makeup and stuff like that. Maybe her jewelry. I mean, usually when I do my makeup and I use like different colors on my eye, I love using like, sometimes I use a copper color or sometimes I use gold. So if I'm using gold on my eyes, I don't want to wear like silver earrings. It just, it doesn't match. <laughs> uh, when I'm using like copper or gold on my eyes, I want to use gold earrings and gold necklaces. So I think having like a jewelry closet um, and a handbag closet is very handy for a glam room. But let me know in the comment section below the video what you guys think. So what I did, by the way, what I did on the counter <laughs> um, here, I, I just added all my custom content uh, makeup there because I have a lot of a lot of makeup in my CC folder and I didn't want to keep on scrolling and scrolling until I found the item so I thought no let's throw everything on the counter and then grab whatever I need and drag it to the place that I want to add it in so this is what I'm doing right now it's a little bit tedious and probably uh, a bit boring to watch I do am aware of that but yeah this is the only uh, way that I could really do this with it not being that long because if I sh if I needed to scroll through the catalog 
for every item. So place the item, go back to the catalog, scroll, scroll, scroll to the item that I needed. And then it's just a whole process that I didn't want to do. So I just thought, okay, let's chuck everything there and let's work with it. So I did change the mirrors because at first I had illuminating mirrors from Spade. Those look really nice, but when I looked closer to her glam room pictures, she has these lightings above her mirrors or they are actually running through her mirror. It's such a strange and beautiful sight. So it's something that Kylie also has in her glam room. So I thought, let's use the pool lights again. Let's add them in above the mirrors, but with the combination of the illuminating spade mirrors, it was a little bit overly bright. And that's why I'm going with normal mirrors instead. So here I'm trying to make uh, the makeup look a little bit better because now it was one clutter mess and I'm trying to position them really nicely. And yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a glam room. It's all about the makeup and that's what I'm trying to uh, do here. So I know this room is definitely not the same, um, but I like it. And I love that there are now two um, vanity tables. So those two vanity, vanity tables are functional. You can use them with your sim. Um, and I find it really nice that I could push the mirror in the wall so that you could actually use the mirror wall that I created myself. So I thought that was really nice. Um, so I was thinking about a rock, but in the end I didn't do one. Still thinking about the rock though. So probably gonna go back to this room, maybe gonna add a rock because it looks so empty in the middle. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is basically all I needed to say for uh, this little section of the video. Um, so I do have to say uh, a little announcement. Um, the series will not be running every Sunday anymore. You guys probably guessed it already because I'm uploading this on a Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, the reason why I'm not doing them on Sunday anymore is because I will be going to Holland every weekend from now on. So my grandmother got diagnosed with cancer. I mean, she had cancer uh, a few years back. Then uh, they took out a part of her lung. So it was lung cancer and she was cured. Everything was out of her system, but now it's back. So she, she needs to go back into hospital, hospital back and forth. And I just want to visit her as much as possible because this is very straining on a old woman. I mean, she is 87 years old and having cancer again. I'm not sure. Is this her last year? Or is she like gonna live for a few years more? I absolutely don't know. The doctors don't know. They said in the beginning she has three months till six months to live. Now they are like, maybe with this medication we can make it two years. So I don't know. But I want to try and spend every minute uh, as I, uh, I mean, as much time as possible with her. So I will be going back and forth to Holland uh, every weekend. So not, not very <laughs> happy news for me. It's been a crappy, crappy month, you guys. <laughs> August and July have been such crappy months. Uh, first that thing with my daughter, then my depression, then my grandmother it's it sucked <laughs> i'm so happy when this year is over and hopefully everything will be going back to normal because at this point i'm so over it <laughs> anyways so uh, as you guys see i'm using kylie jenner pictures there on the wall those are not gonna stay i'm just placing them already because i want to use those frames but I'm going to add in pictures of Chloe uh, or something that is, I don't know, connected to her. I'm going to make, I'm going to try and make uh, my custom paintings for her. So these two Kylie paintings. So those are also custom paintings that I made myself for the Kylie house. And I'm going to make them for Chloe as well. So I'm adding here in uh, two Chloe paintings here. One Chloe painting in the office. And I think I also need to add in one Chloe painting in the dining room. I mean, why not? Those are beautiful women, uh, the Kardashians and uh, the Jenners. And I think they would love to see their own pictures throughout the home. I mean, if I looked like that, I would love looking at myself. 
regularly. <laughs> Anyways, so here doing the um what is this? The home theater. So the home theater is uh again not similar <laughs> as the real life one, but I did try to make it the same kind of vibe. So she has like a stair like um home theater so you can walk up multiple stairs and all the uh, seating areas are on multiple levels and i try to recreate that of course with a split level that i made right there um so what am i doing here oh yeah i'm gonna start with the office and this is actually the final room that we are gonna furnish for this episode so for the office i actually found like almost the same color wallpaper as she has in real life so i was so happy with that also the curtains are like almost the same color but the only thing that i couldn't find was the same kind of flooring she has like i think a very uh, i think it's like a light gray tiling so i we have a light gray tiling in the game this one but as that's so ugly for inside i didn't like how it looked for this home for a very modern home it's nice but for this moroccan kind of themed modern home it didn't fit in so i'm going with a gray carpet and i'm placing a gray rug on top of that and i'm trying to keep it in the same kind of vibe so for the color combination, it's like almost the same, only the two chairs that I'm using, those are black in real life, they're like a brownish color that I couldn't find, so I went with black instead, and the desk isn't the same as well, she has like beautiful, gorgeous, elaborate desk it, i think it's made of glass <laughs> glass and maybe some black kind of hmm, steel or something so gorgeous of course we did have we didn't have anything like that in the game so i went with something from peacemaker i see i see i mean if i don't know what to use i always grab for his items because his items are so detailed and beautiful and even when it doesn't look the same it still is very nice so i went with a peacemaker ic desk actually all the cc yeah all the cc that i'm using here is uh peacemaker ic the only thing that is not from him is the uh, laptop that is from maxims and a book so i'm also using a folk book that is from um cardiffy no 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 I'm not sure, but I will link her in the description of the video or on my blog when I'm gonna make the custom content list because I have not started that li list yet. <laughs> I am aware it's gonna be such a long list, so it's gonna take me a few days to write, but it will be there when I'm gonna upload this home to the gallery. Um, anyway, so we're almost finished with the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know this one is a little bit shorter, but I did not have that much time to work on this uh, home um, i went back and forth to holland like i said for my grandmother we were all in shock <laughs> but yeah didn't work much on this home at all and today i was like mona you need to do something let's work on your home today so i cranked out a few um a few rooms and i'm hoping that you guys like it of course i can still improve them if you find them crap just let me know in the comment section below the video so i'm hoping that you all are having an awesome awesome day wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all soon bye bye <laughs>